Wish. This new state of the internet report shows AI bot traffic is surging incredibly. Talk a bit about what is driving this explosive surge. Swapil, so, pleasure to be on the on the show with you here, and uh, you know the topic is very, very top of mind for the executives, the boardroom, the security personnel, but the business personnel, right? And uh, you know, you you talked about three hundred percent growth, uh, which is fascinating, right? In terms of you know the way we know how the internet is and how it works, it's a lot of it is changing, and all customers and enterprises would want to say, hey, I had 300% growth in bot traffic. Uh, uh, it's, it's like, wow, you know, you want to say more like I had 300% growth in my customers or in my, uh, you know, products or in my scale that I'm trying to do versus this, you know, very, very powerful sort of, you know, AI bots that are coming in and whether they're scraping content or they're taking and ingesting data for learning for other reasons. And we see a lot of this in the kind of like, you know, in the fraud and abuse space. And uh, it's fascinating to see not just the kind of like the volume growth. And some of that comes because there is so much kind of automation, right? This is sort of like, it's almost like the, the first use case of Agentic, where all of these AI bots are out there, they're crawling, they're collecting information, they're bringing it back. They're trying to figure out sort of, you know, what is relevant, not relevant, you know, and and in the Akamai's SODI report that we have published, we give a lot of breakdown in terms of what industries are impacted, right? The publishing industry or the healthcare or the manufacturing and every vertical, every business is is getting impacted with it. And to to some extent, you're almost serving all of this kind of technological digital infrastructure to something that might or might not yield any value, right? It's not bringing a customer to you, or it's not bringing a transaction to you, or it's not trying to buy something yet, right? So it's a very kind of difficult situation for customers and enterprises to be while this kind of traffic continues to increase. When we look at this AI power bot, how are they reshaping or even threatening the traditional web-based business model, as you mentioned, publishers, SaaS providers, digital commerce, and forcing them to rethink because it's actually, in a way, not challenging one aspect or that is challenging the whole model itself. Yeah. So we'll do some very simple examples, right? So if I'm a publisher, you know, my main business model is that, hey, you know, I have a you know, paywall, or I I want to share some of my content uh, free and some of my content behind a paid wall, and I want to drive my subscribers. And historically, you know, the SEOs or the search engine models where you would go to Google or any other search engine and say, look up some story uh, for, you know, a top line news, and it'll come back and say, here is Wall Street Journal or New York Times or Daily Mail or XYZ. And you get a click out of that, and that click then sort of you know goes and uh, and delivers on uh, <clears throat> you know the 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 actual user to the enterprise or the business or the publisher in this case, right? So all of that, I think, is kind of like a little bit up in the air because now all of this content is being scraped. There's an AI based response to that search, and in many cases, the AI and the AI bots are sort of, you know, providing the top line story, but even writing the articles or providing a point of view. And that end user never goes and gets referred to the publisher or to the business, right? So that is how it is like very, very disruptive. And, uh, you know, we work with a lot of publishers that are on the Akamai platform. And I've been, you know, busy through the whole summer talking about what are the solutions? Do you deny? Do you block? Do you tarp it? Do you allow some? Do you allow, you know, certain specific ones because that's where your business models are set up? Uh, and then how do you monetize, right? And there is a lot of discussion in this space, uh, in the industries. How do you monetize? Uh, uh, I do fear that, you know, if you think about like the healthcare industry, right? There's a lot of, you know, genuine public information on healthcare and and you know if you are feeling some kind of a headache then go do xyz a lot of this is being scraped and then packaged and the ai bots are scraping packaging 
learning and responding. And, uh, you know, it kind of like, you know, that is what the next generation is going to be used to, right? That's how they will kind of get their advice or that's the only thing that they know. So I worry about, you know, how the transformation is going to happen. What's going to happen to the healthcare companies? What's going to happen to the SaaS companies? What's going to happen to the tech companies where all of that information is now kind of scraped and packaged and almost like re-delivered in a whole different context that they cannot control? 